subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications of latest videos. Are you looking for the latest MIUI 9 for Lenovo Z2 Plus? Then this video is for you. In this video, I am going to show you how you can easily flash it on your device and set up for daily use. So keep watching this video. It's been more than a year since the release of MIUI 8, like how M iPhones are expected every year, the latest version of MIUI is also expected. I got my hands on MIUI 9 for the Lenovo Z2 Plus, and the experience was amazing. Trust me. It's the best ROM ever for Lenovo Z2 Plus. To install this ROM, you need to flash it from recovery mode. Go to recovery mode and wipe down the cache, cache, data, system. Do not select internal storage, it will erase your internal storage data. After selecting, just swipe from here to wipe all your data. This will not erase your internal storage's data. Now, you are ready to flash this ROM. Select install and look for your ROM, and select it. Now just swipe right to flash it. It will take some time in flashing process. Once done you will see a message saying finished installation. Just reboot your device. Be patient. It will take 5 to 6 minutes to boot properly. This is the first screen you see after a boot process. Let me set this quickly. So, finally, here we are. As expected, there are some creepy bloatwares. I will show you how you can easily remove them. Super Sue is already installed, means it's pre-rooted. If you are thinking about replacing Super Sue with Magisk Manager, don't try to install Magisk. Because you boot image of this ROM is passed with Super Sue. It will not work with Magisk Manager properly. Let's go to settings and see what we got here. Here you can see it's 8.1.15 beta version of MIUI 9. At the moment when I am creating this video. Volt is working. This ROM supports Volt video calls too. Fingerprint and face unlock is working great. Both are amazing fast. But you can't expect more from Face Unlock. It's nice, but not great. And the other thing is that, you can't trust Face Unlock. As you can see here, they are warning you. Here is the Face Unlock test. It's working fine. Here is how you can install Google Apps. There are two ways of doing it. First one is installing all the apps manually. Second one is by using Google Installer. Google Installer basically a Chinese app which is used to install Google Apps on Chinese smartphones. Because there are no pre-installed Google Apps in Chinese phones. In this video, I am manually installing Google Apps. All the links are mentioned in the description. You can directly download them from there. Transfer them to your smartphone, and manually install them one by one. When you are done installing all the apps, just reboot your device. Now you are able to open Google Play Store, sign in. Update all the apps from here. Let me show you Volt is working or not. As I said earlier, it's working. You can also see the HD symbol above.
changing the theme language to English is very easy. All you have to do is, go to root and then system. Here you can find build.prop file. Open it in text editor and add those two lines. Save the file. Now clear the theme store's data and restart your device. Now open theme store again. To enable iPhone 10 like gesture control, go to root, system and open build.prop again, scroll to the bottom of the file. Now add this line. Save it, and then reboot it. After reboot, you will notice that navigation keys are enabled. Now go to settings, here you will find an extra full screen display option which was hidden. Here, select full screen gestures option and follow the tutorial. Don't forget to enable other apps in full screen mode from here. Otherwise they will not work properly. Now, it's time to get rid of bloaters and other Chinese apps. You can simply remove them from root, or use Titanium Backup Pro or other system app remover. I am using Titanium Backup Pro. Apart from removing bloatwares, there are some MI apps like Music, File Manager, Video Player, Keyboard. Remove them too. But before removing Chinese Keyboard app, don't forget to download Google Keyboard. Now download and install MI Global apps, they are in English. Link is given in the description below. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you have any question, drop in the comment box below.